Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, and we're going to talk about the church, the body of Christ. My question to the body is, what is wrong with us? Why are we so sick, crippled, and lame? Why so damaged? Why do we do so much damage? You know, sometimes we don't understand what we do and why people don't want to come into the body of Christ. What people look at, what they see that turns them off. Well, I want to ask you this. Why is there so much occurrences of saints laughing at saints? Church folk laughing at church folk, making fun of church folk, putting down church folk, criticizing. Why is there so much disrespect? I can't understand how we can ever get on one accord when we're constantly on each other's last nerve. The unforgiveness level is so low you can almost not see it in some cases. And then there are other cases where the saints who are really trying are forgiving and forgiving and forgiving and forgiving and forgiving and in exchange or in return for their forgiveness and their mercy, they get disrespected and disrespected and disrespected and laughed at and disrespected and talked about and disrespected and whizzy whizzied about. What is going on? We are sick, you guys. That's not a sign of a healthy church. We need God's healing. Do you realize that? We need God's healing. And it's so sad. God, please help the church. Please help us. You know, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I don't know what you plan to do about it. I don't know what those of us. I, I just don't get. I don't get what pleasure you get in hurting or belittling. Why are some of you leaders so controlling? What is up with that? What are you afraid of? Fear has torment. Fear is not of God. Perfect love cast out fear. And if you're really operating in the spirit, you don't need control. It's not yours anyway to control. Now is it? And those of you who look down on what you consider the B group because they're not as polished or poised or they have a few too many tattoos or they talk with slang or they limp they might still be trying to get rid of that cigarette. Or they might throw out a cuss word here and there, but they're really trying. Or they talk street. They don't talk church. They talk street. So they're the ones that the teenagers and the young adults laugh at. And then you say to your older saint, you cringe. What are you cringing from? Jesus reaches out to us at our level. He reaches out to you at your level. Jesus understands slang. Do you hear me? Jesus knows how to reach the wounded soul. He knows how to heal the wounded soul. But then what do you do after he starts the healing process? You go in and you tear, you cut, you slice, you stab, you, you dig. What is that? Why? Why do you need to do that? What is sick inside of you that you need to hurt and cripple someone else? Why? Come on, saints, let's stop. Please, let's stop. Let's learn what love is, what love really is, love, forgiveness, mercy, unconditional love and acceptance and patience with one another. Let's heal. Let's help each other heal. You don't know how? 
go to God. Say things like this, Lord, help me love the way you love. Help me not think less of someone else and more of myself. Get rid of my own nasty pride. In the name of Jesus, heal my heart. I'm damaged goods too. Mine just doesn't show as much as theirs because I learned to camouflage it. And they haven't yet. Well, Lord, help us all heal each other. Help us all heal together. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord. I need your healing. We need your healing. Saints, please, let's heal so that the world will see the love we have for each other and want a part of what we have because there is so much to God, His power and His love that if we would just get our ugliness out of the way, people would want what we have. Do you hear me? Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together in love. Let us rightly discern the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Please, thank you very much.